grade six. We have learned about Piers Cave at school. Now we, we're doing this trip. We're going to go up to Piers Cave. We're going to have a look around. What can we expect to find there, Connor? Uh, we're probably going to find some nice cave paintings of some sand and um, animals. Yeah, big bulls. All the beers. I'm not going in that cave if there's big bulls. No, I mean in the, in the actual pictures. Oh. But there might be, you know. Of course, there's going to be the slip bags. I think it's going to really be a really nice trip. Pierce Cave. Yeah, it's tiring and my feet are dirty. It's my socks are very dirty indeed. And we've been walking for eight minutes. Are you serious? It looks like yes, we are serious. It's like we've been walking for two hours. Yeah. What it would you be seeing if you were sitting here as sand people? I'd be seeing fields of wheat and stuff. And no, they no, didn't have any agriculture. Man, not farmers. What would you be seeing? Animals. You'd be seeing kelp. Bush. A big fat bush. Natural vegetation and animals. All right, shall we walk? Should we walk? Wait. We also see a little bit of water every now and then. Maybe. Very wet and I'm tired. Pierce Cave is quite easily accessible if you drive up Oak and then before you get to the first bend at the top, on your right there's a board that says Pierce Cave. Hey Ryan, that's us climbing. Connor, we need to read the facts first. Sorry. Mr. Pierce and his son had long been interested in the study of reptilia and geology in general. They found what is called Pierce Cave today in May 1927 and commenced excavational work. Pierce Cave is a low shelter looking east, wholly protected from the northeast winds. The front of the shelter is shielded by rock and bush, making excavation difficult. The cave is 36 meters wide at the front, 13 meters deep, and the roof is nearly 7 meters high. Mr. Pierce and his son marked the cave out in 6 foot squares and work, and work began on these. It was soon realized that the bad ex, excavators had previously rifled the cave, but the shell was carefully sieved. They found a few punched or bored shells and further on a number of human toe and finger bones, other fragments of an infant skeleton, 
a few stone implements, fragments of woven reed, mother of pearl ornaments, a piece of rope, arrow points, ostrich eggshell and other objects showing that the occupants of the cave had led the life of strand loopers or beach combers. They also discovered three adult skeletons. One showed the decayed rem remnants of medicine bags strung as a curative belt about her for she eventually evidently evident. suffered from lameness. Under another of these skeletons, a fragment of rusted European iron was found, proving that this burial was actually made after the early Portuguese voyagers had passed away. <laughs> had passed this way. Now they've passed away. It was a long time ago. Almost all the bodies had been buried in the same position, face downwards, with the legs folded under the stomach and the arms tugged under the chest, the head being pressed slightly more deeply into the earth than the greater bulk of the body behind. A flat stone had been laid on the shoulders, and some had ostrich egg beads strung on stripes of hide around their necks. High up in the northeastern corner of the cave, there are still faint traces of orchid-painted okay. fingers and hands on the rock wall. The most dramatic find of all, however, was the little skull that was to make scientific history in 1929. Mrs. Peer decided that the small blackened relic of the prehistoric past had to be carried home in her hat. In January 1941, Pierce Cave was declared a national monument. Here we are at Pierce Cave. Can I get some comments from you guys? It's really exciting and whenever I look down, my eyes open up really wide. It's quite cool. The cave paintings are worn out. Just barely right now. Mm. It's really exciting though. Mm -hmm. Here, look at the view. Mm -hmm. Over there, with the camera. Mm -hmm. You also see the cliff, which is a death needle. And the new housing developments. Sand people would have been appalled by. Exactly. I've been waiting for you all night.